let's take a look at number 15. A small metal bar whose initial temperature was 20 degrees centigrade is dropped into a large container of boiling water. Okay, boiling water, you know that the temperature of boiling water is 100 degrees. How long will it take the bar to reach 90 degrees centigrade if it's known that its temperature increases 20 degrees in one second? Then the question says, how long will it take the bar to reach 98 degrees centigrade? So recall that from Newton's law of cooling, warming, we have the following. The rate of change of the temperature with respect to time is proportional to the difference between the temperature and the temperature of the environment it is set to. So it's going to be 100 degrees. Very well. So our goal is to solve this differential equation. We have dt over t minus 100. Which equals to k dt. So if you take the integral of both sides, what do we have? We have ln of absolute value of t minus 100 equals to kt plus c sub 1, or t minus 100 is equal to e to kt times c. So the solution, general solution, t becomes 100 plus c e to kt. Now our goal is to find c and then k. Very well. What do we know? We know that, well, at time zero, when t is equal to zero, the temperature is 20. What's the meaning of that? It means that t of zero becomes 100 plus c e to zero. 20 is 100 plus c. So c is negative 80 degrees. So our model becomes T of T, 100 minus 80 e to K T. What else do we have here? We know that the temperature increases 20 degrees in one second. So when t is just 1, t of 1, 20 plus 2 becomes 22 degrees. Very well. So let us use our model. t of 1 is equal to 100 minus 80 e to k. So 22 is equal to 100 minus 80 e to k. Now we can find k. Seventy-eight is equal to eighty e to k, or e to k is seventy-eight over eighty, and k becomes ln of seventy-eight divided by eighty. You can simplify this, your k becomes ln of 39 over 40. So we found k. Our model t of t becomes 100 minus 80 e to power ln of 39 over 40 times. Now that we have the model, we can easily find the time that it reaches to 90 degrees and then 98 degrees. 90 degrees is equal to 100 minus 80 e to, let's just erase this, move this a little bit up, ln of 39 over 40 t. So if you do the algebra, t becomes approximately, if you do the calculation, 82.1 seconds. 
Well, to find how long will it take, it reaches to 98 degrees. 98 degrees is 100 minus 80 e to ln of 39 over 40 times t. And if we do the calculation, well, t becomes 100, approximately 145.7 seconds.